those guys are really sliding around right now. That's a cool shot right yeah. there. Casey Kane, a little slow in that high lane. Look at Bill Murray. A little, a little bit of contact there. Junior's been solid today. He's in the top five. Newman able to get around Martin Martin for the race lead. And as Newman pulls away, we go to the garage. Kyle Busch out early today, Chris. Yeah, Kyle Busch out of the car, not happy. Lots of damage on the right side. Carl, what, uh, Kyle, what happened there? Uh, just blew a tire. You know, too much brake heat transferring through the bead and um, through the wheel, through the bead, blue bead on the tire. Just uh, one of them deals, I guess. It'll happen here. Just driving really hard, trying to make up lost track position. And, had a pretty fast car, getting through there, passing a lot of guys, just, um, you know, it's so hard to pass, we're just trying to find ways that we could, and we are getting there, and um, just, I don't know, I wouldn't think it. Did any of the contact with the 88 uh, help with the situation here? There's been contact with everybody on everybody out there, so nice try, making a story. Well, I'll go ahead and finish the story. I think that was due to too much friction on the right front tire, in my opinion. Yeah. He's, he, he's driving the car, and if he says it's too much brake heat, then i got to believe him. But I, I think when you look at it, I, I mean, it's not a story. The thing is, he gets in, these guys get together, like he said. A lot of contact with each other. You see these guys are together. You see that smoke? That's where they're together already. They get off each other, then boom, there's one more pop of smoke right there where they kind of get into each other. And when you run on somebody and you just lean your right side tire up against them and rub, 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 eventually... It's, it is going to burn the beat, but it burns the outside beat off of the car. Kyle Busch, tough ending to the day. Scored in 39th and off track here at New Hampshire. Kevin Harvick playing a little pitch strategy. Gained a bunch of positions on that cycle of pit stop seven laps ago. He's running in the top ten and working on Gene McMurray. Good track position, but their car's not working as good as these other guys. I mean, they've got to they got to keep adjusting on this thing in a hurry in order for them to capitalize on that track position that they got. And we talked about it early on, pit strategy and track position. Jamie McMurray is the only team. That team is the only team that gambled and really has made track position out of a gamble. Everybody else, two tires is not a gamble when everybody else two tires. You know what I mean? Yeah. So by those guys staying out, and I think that's what Mark and those guys are looking at this time to try to to replicate, to duplicate whatever uh, the, the one car of McMurray did. You got David Reagan who got his first career win a couple of weeks ago at Daytona and Paul Menard looking for his first. I'm battling just outside the top ten. Carl Edwards lingering right behind. Started 15th, dropped outside the top 20 and right now he's 13th with Brian Pickers in his hip pocket. And right behind them, Jeff Gordon, the guy you've had your eye on today, Wally. Yeah, Jeff lost some spots there in, uh, in the pits. He lost quite a few spots, actually. <clears throat> but watching his time, especially when it got to the middle towards the end of the run, Jeff's car was very, very fast compared to what the leaders were running. And there goes Tony Stewart inside of Casey Kane and Smoke back up to third in the running order. with Martin Truex Jr. riding in the fifth position behind Casey King. Five leaders today. It's his teammate, the pole sitter, Ryan Newman, who has the field in